everyone. Thank you so much for checking out Crafty Little Rosebud here on YouTube. Today we are doing a plan with me. We are going to plan out my monthly view in my Erin Condren for the month of December. And then we are also going to plan the um, last week of November into the first week of December. Um, I've got a few different kits I'm going to use. And then I've also pulled out this sticker book here because I've got my seasonal stickers in it. So I've got all my like holiday oriented stickers and I might try to pull some of these in at the end. Um, but first we'll go ahead and we will lay out our kit. I've already started laying out the date dots because that usually seems to be one of the most time consuming parts. So that's what I've got started here. Um, this is the kit that I'm using from Megan Renee Plans. If you are interested in this, definitely check out her shop. She's got lots of beautiful stickers and I do have a um, discount uh, code for you to use. It's listed in the description below. So we're going to go ahead and lay this out. And then we've also got um, our countdown stickers to put in as we lay everything out for the month. And we've got our Once More With Love Wacky Holidays. So we're going to get this laid out. Um, and then after that, we will kind of go through some of the weeks um, for the first part of the month and then we will do the other parts in a part two video like I have been doing lately. So um, this is kind of like a pastel Christmas kit which I really like and um, I even got a um, set of full boxes to use one week in this month that is this same kind of deco because I just thought it was absolutely beautiful. So now for me in December, I only get two paydays. So we're going to go ahead and use those. And uh, I still have some left from this page that I will put away for future use. Um, I'm pretty good about any kits I have. I almost always have leftovers that I can use for something else down the road. So we're gonna go ahead and put our payday down it's really scary to think that we only have a couple more paydays before Christmas. Where has the year gone? <laughs> um, and it flies by even faster when you have a child. It seems like it goes by so much quicker. So now we've got the sidebar here and I actually have a little calendar to throw on. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use this for the first time and fill up that sidebar because I do have a little calendar that I can throw in from another kit. And I'm assuming this is probably going to cover the whole thing. So, and I'm not too worried about whiting it out because I've got some labels I can use that I think are going to cover a good amount of it. So we've got that put down. Um, Let's see, for this, I'm not too worried about um, goals or next month. We can go ahead and write down important dates and I will do um, birthdays there because there are a couple birthdays. So this is my first time doing this sidebar and uh, so I wasn't quite sure how I wanted to do it, but the way that her kits are made it makes it pretty easy to um, kind of decide what you want to do there. So, and then we'll do reminders and we'll do events because there are lots of different events that go on in the month of December for us. And then, like I said, down here, I'm going to cover that with a calendar. So I am not going to worry about putting anything over those hearts. They can even poke out of the calendar. I just don't have it out right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. But that's the really nice thing about her kit is it makes it so you can turn this into four sections and you can do um, goals, important dates, reminders, events, next month, this month. So I really like that. And then with this kit, she even included this full box that has the 24th and 31st and it has Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve because they just happen to land both on a Monday um, and they're stacked on top of each other here. So um, my daughter's standing right up next to me, so I will apologize in advance 
if there's any noise or she grabs the camera while I'm mid-sentence because I'm not going to edit out me talking right in the middle of it. So, um, and then let's see. Let me get out the rest of the kit. So she did do a Merry Christmas box, but it doesn't take up this whole box. So I'm debating, I think what I want to do, I was going to use this one here, but it's going to cut that in half. Mm, decisions, decisions. I think we're going to go ahead and just use this box here. Well, you know what? I want to use that for another section. Okay, here's my thought. So since this is not a full box and I want to take up that full day, we are going to take this pink color here. And we're going to lay it down and hopefully it will take up. Okay, good. It does take up a good part of that box. And then we will piece in the Christmas box here. And then I will take one of my uh, date dots as soon as I find the right sheet and I will put my date dot on there. So and that fits perfectly. She lays her kits out very well. So this is what I did for um, Christmas Eve, New Year's, and Christmas. Hopefully it's showing up okay. So, and then we're going to lay this down up here and we're going to lay down these full boxes that I really want to use over in this spot. So let me get those pulled up and we will get those laid down. And then we will lay out our wacky holidays in the monthly and then we'll get into the weekly views. So her kits are beautiful and so great for the monthly. They really cover every aspect. She's always got enough boxes to cover the extra boxes that don't actually fit within this month, which is always really nice. And they always seem to fit very, very well. Now I might have to actually lift this up. So let me get these laid down and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got those laid out. I will advise that if you purchase this kit, um, lay this bar down first and then lay this over top of it because it did kind of layer a little bit. But it looks great and I really, really like it. So um, next we do have some small washi. I'm not going to worry about using that. And then of course there's first day of winter, Hanukkah ends and Hanukkah begins. Um, I do not celebrate Hanukkah. I also know there's a Kwanzaa sticker on here and I don't um, celebrate that either. Um, I might put them in there just, you know, as an interesting, oh, hey, this is starting, but I may not. I am gonna go ahead and mark winter, first day of winter. And we're just gonna cover up the little Erin Condren one there because I don't need it twice. So there is that. And that is her full kit laid out. Let me zoom the camera out and I will show you her full kit laid out. Um, here's what's left. If you're interested to know that there is still a good amount left that I can use throughout the month. So let me open this up. And here is her full kit laid out. So here is the first half there and there is the second half. So next we will um, lay down our wacky holidays and I'll read these to you as I go. And then we will actually jump into doing our um, weekly plan with me. I'm only gonna do two weeks this time and three weeks next time. So that's how I've decided to sort it out. So we've got our December wacky holidays, World AIDS Day, Fritters yeah. Day, Roof Over Your Head Day, um, I'm not even on the side that starts with the first, so let's skip that. And um, let's see, Santa's List Day is the fourth. Bathtub Day, Bathtub Party Day is the fifth. That's interesting. And so I need to lay these out in a way that I can fit more information in because I noticed in the last month that I did them, that I actually did not leave myself enough room to lay down my event stickers 
and uh, it kind of threw me off to be honest. So we're just going to put all of these in this top corner of each day so that I uh, actually um, have room to lay down any other events. So let's go back and um, actually I needed to be on this side. So then we've got St. Nicholas Day, Cotton Candy Day here. Do you all like the wacky holidays or do you think they're silly? I like some. <laughs> I guess my daughter likes them and thinks they're, they're fun and silly because, you know, she had to laugh. She actually wasn't laughing at what I was saying. She was laughing at what happened in the Grinch. Oh, Cotton Candy Day and Gingerbread Decorating Day. Um, she absolutely loves the movie The Grinch and we sit here and have already started watching it heavily so all right so we've got Christmas card day um, animal rights day mountain day I don't purchase these for every month, but I thought they would be fun to add into December. Poinsettia Day. Plus, I feel like sometimes my uh, calendar is just kind of bland. This makes it a little bit more interesting. Um, let's see. Ice Cream Day on the 13th because everyone wants ice cream when it's really cold, I guess. Monkey Day. Monkey Day is on a payday. It sounds like a good day to me. Tea day. And I'm actually just realized I'm covering up the moon phases, but I don't really follow those, so that's okay. Um, chocolate covered anything day. That sounds like my kind of holiday, especially around the holidays. Uh, maple syrup day, baked cookies day. Let's see, look for an evergreen. That is on the 19th. We will have a fake one in our uh, living room by then. That'll be fun. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this side up so I don't have to keep flipping back and forth. So let's jump to the 23rd, which is Roots Day. Uh, eggnog day is Christmas Eve and it's gonna have to kind of go up here a little bit uh, no L day haha -ha, we got jokes we'll put that under that um, candy cane day on the 26th it's when candy canes will be on sale good time to go get them if you like them I do Bacon Day is on the 30th. I think I found my new favorite day. And then let's finish this up. So, and if you're sticking around and watching through this and not skipping over it, um, definitely let me know that you like me kind of talking through these or if you'd rather me just kind of skip ahead through them and come back when they're done like I have done in the past, I can do that too. It's all about your preference when it comes to that kind of thing. So, um, I don't know why I just did that. Oh wait, no, that was right. I laid the wrong sticker down somewhere. Hold up. Oh, no, I didn't. So anyways, um, if you all like me talking through these, let me know. If you prefer me to skip through them like I have before, I can definitely do that. Um, I just always thought they were interesting, so I kind of like hearing what the uh, odd holiday is. Um, so anyways, we've got Go Caroling Day, Crossword Puzzle Day, uh, Be a Lover of Silence Day, Free Balloon Day, Card Playing Day, TikTok Day, 
And of course, Champagne Day, I forgot to put on the other side, which is what threw me off. So, I will get that put on New Year's Eve. I'll just kind of put that right there. So that is all of the wacky holidays laid out. Kind of adds a nice splash of color. We do have some plans that'll be going on, but I'm not gonna put those on the calendar just yet because I don't know the fine details. But obviously Christmas Eve, we will be running a lot and all of that will show up in my weekly view. And then here is, here is the other side. So now we will go ahead and we will lay out our kits. Um, and we will work on laying out our countdown. So let's go ahead and let me get my two kits out that I will be using. I did go ahead and take, well, they're not kits. They're just, um, one's a micro kit. One's not a kit though. It's just the full boxes because I figured I had these items left over. I can use them because here's what we're going to use. And as you can tell, this matches what I just used for the monthly view. So let me get over to that week. So what I did this time around, instead of laying out all my individual chore stickers, I went ahead and pre-planned. So I've got my laundry, my time to plan. Um, me and my fiance are going to a play and we're going to do dinner, so I laid out that and that's where I'm gonna write in the plan. So dinner plans and down here the play, and then my clean the house sticker, meal prep, uh, dump the litter box, um, empty the wash or dishwasher, and then my nap, tap tr nap time tracker that I'm continuing. So I left all of that there, um, or I went ahead and put it down, and I put one box from the kit down so I could keep track of what kit I wanted for each week. So I'm gonna lay out these full boxes, um, and this I'm actually keeping super, super simple because I just don't know um, what we'll be doing during the week. Kind of have to play that by ear a little bit. Um, so I just thought it would be good to keep it a little, a little free of uh, too many plans. So all I'm doing for this particular week, it's November 26th through the beginning of December and I was so eager to use my Christmas kits that I figured why not go ahead and put it down and since this um, kit has so many blues in it and Erin Condren did blue for November I'm not going to cover up the um, colors like I have been on some weeks I am going to leave it pretty open because again I like it um, I like how it looks. So we're going to leave those to be visible. And I'm not writing too much down because again, it's kind of up in the air on what we will be doing. We're kind of at the point now we don't have very many set plans on the weekends and they're just a lot more sporadic. So there's that. I'm also not being too strict on myself on a cleaning schedule um, during the week. I will be wrapping up a class, so um, I'm just not putting too much down. There are some headers and stuff I've got coming up in other weeks that will be really cute, and so uh, you'll definitely see those. Now, how do I want to do this one? I think I want to do... Do I want to do trees on trees? Well, either way, it's going to be trees on trees. So, and I actually figured I would also leave these um, open on the bottom in case I need to lay down any of these um, little bars here for anything that comes up. So, we're going to go ahead and use this one here. And I think this goes pretty well with the green too, so. My daughter thinks everything needs to go on the desk. <laughs> so, random items start appearing because she is emptying out the side of my desk. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. Okay, so all I've done is laid out the full boxes. So here's kind of my layout, and you're about to see that this side is very, very plain because just so much is up in the air um, that I really don't want to do too much with it yet. I am going to go ahead, though, and we will start our Christmas countdown over here. Thank you. So, oh, where do I want to put my Christmas countdown? Thank you. So, I think my Christmas countdown is going to kind of bounce around on the page. But I'll still be able to see it. Okay, so we started our Christmas countdown. We've got our chores. And I've got stuff flying across my table. <laughs> um, so that's all I'm going to do for this. Let's go ahead and we will get um, the week of December 3rd through the 9th down. And then that's all we're going to do tonight. Um, and uh, we'll keep it pretty simple though. So I am going to show you the kit that I'm using. I'm using this Nutcracker Micro Kit from Cricut Paper Co. Um, and uh, I already did lay one box down again so I could keep track of where I wanted it, um, what kit I wanted to use for this week. So what I am going to do is I think I'm going to do the tutu and the nutcracker hat on this side. And this was for an Erin Condren vertical planner, I believe, which means that the stickers are big enough to cover up any extra white space that could have been there. So we'll get our full boxes laid down and I do have check boxes that I will be laying out for this particular week. Um, I'm going to leave Saturday blank because a lot of times we do something on that day. Thank you. You all are going to see everything that is in my desk because she's going to make sure she pulls every single item out. She won't miss one, I promise. She will get every little speck out. There's a piece of a paper towel over there. You will see it. She will get it out for you. Mm-hmm. So we'll put the little mouse down here. Actually, the cool thing about this week or the next week, one of those is my last week of class. Thank you. So, and I might actually go ahead and I will lay these little boxes in here um, because they're really cute. They go very well with the kit, obviously. And I just think they will be nice to add in and I can add any events or anything special that I want to note right there. So I'll use that one. And then, um, you know what, we'll actually go ahead and we will use the weekend banner. I will use as much of this kit as I can. I'm really bad about using all of the kits. So, and I'm actually putting my, my weekend starts on Fridays at noon. So I like to do, well, you can't even see it, but I like to do my weekend banner at the very top because my weekends, they pretty much start very early on Friday. So why not? And we really don't have any set plans for any day until Christmas Eve. So um, for our plans for this um, week, it'll be really just um, fly by the seat of our pants. Whatever comes up, comes up. So, and again, I'll put something here. I mean, it could be something as simple as complete an assignment. I'm fine with that. And I'm just going to hang on to that extra little box in case we end up needing it somewhere else because I really don't have the space for it. So these are little boxes I'll write in. I might write in just a movie night. I might write in actual plans we have. It really just varies. 
And then we're going to go ahead and lay down our Days Till Christmas tracker here. And I'm just going to put them in the corner of all of these days because I think that's the best place for it to stand out for me. Now I was going to do my water trackers, but I'm actually pretty good about drinking more water around the holidays. Yeah. I also drink a lot of tea um, with, you know, light sugar and such. So it usually works out pretty well. So, thank you. Yeah. All right. Now this little guy, we're going to put him over here. Didn't even have him in the frame. Sorry about that. Um, just kind of tucking on where I think they'll fit nicely for the weekends. So. All right, so we got our Christmas countdown done and we are gonna go ahead, as you can see with micro kits, they're great because I actually use a good amount of them. So now I'm gonna cut these down. I'm gonna do three tasks um, per day. Um, on the weekends, I haven't decided yet if I wanna do the long checklist or just kinda leave them open-ended. Um, I've done both. So we are gonna go ahead and I will probably use some of these colors again with other kits, but these peachy tones, I don't see myself ever using if I don't have a kit for them, you know, that they go with. So we're going to go ahead and get these peachy toned ones used. That way I don't have to worry about me letting them go to waste. So and we'll just go ahead and do it this way. And I don't actually um, line them up like my task list, I kind of just write on the lines, but the checklist here just kind of lets me know, hey, you have a list here that you need to accomplish. Focus on that. Or you have three tasks for the day that you need to get done first. Focus on that. So. so and they don't have to be perfect. It works for me. That's all that matters with your planner is that what you're doing works for you. So I've got those checklists down. I've got a whole lot of stuff left and I do have these boxes to use in my monthly view. They'll actually go really good with it if I need to write in events, which I do have some that will probably need to be written in. And then over here, let me go ahead. Mm, this will be a lot of random list, you know, of different things I need to clean. I'll go ahead and put a list down for Saturday though, because Saturday generally is just a list of do this, that, and the other and get it done kind of day. And it's usually when I get my errands done too. So it's a good catch all list. So that is my layout using the Cricut Paper Co. kit. Um, the micro kits are really good if you are good with lots of white space. So there it is. And um, that's all I've got for you today. So thank you so much for watching and have a great night. Bye.